before we create the API for the payment, we need to create the order schema first. So let's go to our editor and you want to go to server and open up models and create a new file and give it a name order.js. And you want to copy one of this. Let's just copy category since I like to copy from here and paste it here. And then you want to change this name to order schema. Copy this, paste it here and change this to order. So this schema is specifically for once a user already made a payment and you want to store all the products in this order schema so that we can track which products that we bought. And then now you want to remove this. Then you want to type owner, type schema dot types object ID and then reference to user. And after that, we want to do products and then it will be an array. And then in this array, we're going to pass three fields, which would be product ID. Okay, we're going to copy this, paste it here, and change this to product. And after that, we're going to do quantity number and then price of that product, which would be number. And finally, we want to add estimated delivery, which would be string. So we have created our order schema. First is who owned this order, which will be our user who bought the items or products. And then we're going to store all the products in here, which will be product ID. We're just going to pass in the ID so that we can populate later. And we pass in the quantity of the product and then the price of the product, which is quantity times the actual price of the product. And then we have estimated delivery, which would be, is it on 27th of November and so on and so forth. So in the next video, we are going to create our payment API. I'll see you guys in the next video.